Yeah, I'm assuming you have your glide, but I'm curious how this plays out. So let's see. Yeah, some of those games I, I didn't even have my drama at, but I don't know why. But I was like, I wasn't even getting conned at all, so I was like, all right, I'm playing. Yeah. But yeah, I should be using it. You should, for sure. Like right yeah. there, it's see that? Habit. Yeah. Yeah. That guy should have. Like, I got. I swear he was lower than me. I don't know why he didn't. Come yeah, he was. He was. Yeah. Just point you here. Right here. When he's walking like this, the best thing yeah. you can do is to just run around. But yeah. Um. You could also play. Uh, I think I fat finger, finger here. Yeah, I did. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Wow, you killed him so quick. Okay, not bad at all. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll take it. Okay. Yeah. Get past the you are on your own. This is what, what mat is this? Oh, uh, that's brick. That's like 30 brick a thing I found out. Oh, really? Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, you already looted? There's so something here. Oh, wow. okay. Why is Yeah, I know. I was like, this kid's a drone. Wait, what? <laughs> what am I yeah, watching? He, he picked up a gun and just <laughs> ran at me. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he like pulled, pulled I guess. <laughs> I don't know how he made it to finals, but... I know finals suck every time I'm here, but like, that, that is not yeah. a good time to play with it. Yeah, so I, I would have, I would have said, so, okay, so here's something to understand. So let's say it's round one, right? Pretend it's round yeah. one for a second. Um, mm -hmm. in that case, where is your drop right here? In that case, you would actually take the chug splashes and drop oh, your really? SMG, I think. Uh, and I'll okay. tell you why, because I think the entire game in round one will just depend off you surviving. You don't need anything, yeah. right? In mm -hmm. this case, the reason why you can't do that, so I'll, I'll, I'll explain further. Let me pull up Epic Plan and set, set everything up there. Um, but did I tell you about the guy who ran triple memories by chance? Uh, no. So there's a, there's a guy named Crazy GG in, uh, uh, mm -hmm. Console Cup, he ran triple Medmus and splashes, I think. Like, no, really nothing. Mm -hmm. And he healed off and won. And he had basically had Katana and no guns. Like, that. that's how he ran. Yeah. Um, so, what I'm suggesting to you in round one is you could drop your SMG uh, and just play really well, meaning you don't, you don't you try your best not to run into anyone so you don't have to fight. Um, and when yeah. it gets to that point, you can actually just drop your SMG and then run your, uh, what do you call it? Tuck splashes instead. So, your ideal mm -hmm. loadout in that case would then be. Uh, I believe this is a truck splash. It doesn't show because we're not close yeah, to it. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And your ideal, in this case, you would drop minis, right? Yeah. You'd pick up, uh, you'd have 10 truck splashes. After the cash, you drop your SMG, you put uh, Surf Juice here, and then you play the yeah. game like that. In this mm -hmm. case, the reason why it's not possible is because there's going to be Surge. Yeah. And so this, we need that second gun slot to be a red eye. Um, so yeah. Once we find that out, that'll help. Okay, so far so good. Seems like you're fishing on the top. I would wait here. You have no choice. It's yeah, I kept trying to move and he yeah, just... Yeah. I'm just gonna burn your HP, yeah. Best thing you could do is to just literally, like, be patient and let him leave. Yeah. This, this is a very common scenario. Let's say, uh, for example, I'll give you a good, uh, uh, like, an analogy almost. Let's say he takes height and he's standing above your box defensively. You can't yeah. leave. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you literally, like, yeah. he has the, the, I guess, initiative. And he can wait there if he wants to to grief you for like ten minutes straight. You, it's really mm -hmm. hard for you to do something. Um, I, of course, you could try to retake, but retakes are difficult, and you can get hit on the yeah. way up. Uh, and it, it sometimes uh, he can he can also just grief you even harder, like just like continuing to go. Yeah. Up, you know. So that's my point. It's like when he it's a similar idea. If he's on the mountain right here and you're standing right here, um, at a super open area, it's like a canvas that he can look at. Yeah. Um, you just have to wait until he leaves, and then like even yeah. after he like looks like he left, I would give it another twenty seconds. Because he, mm -hmm. some people will do that. They like fake like they leave and then just watch in third person and wait. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's like your best bet. You save a lot of HP, but it, it didn't affect your inventory that much, so I'm not too how, how about the uh, red eye idea? Did you like search this game? Uh, I don't, I don't think search popped this game at all. Yes. Um, I think you should still run it because of my yeah, yeah. Like round two. It's this nice. I to think have. what ends up happening is like, let's say this is like 90 players right here and then zero. It goes down steeply and then it sticks. It drops off. Yeah, yeah, and then like if this is your surge third line or whatever, yeah, like it sticks really hard. And then surge mm -hmm. ends up hitting super late because everyone seems to survive. Um so that's yeah. a very common pattern that happens with surge, and I think uh, watching out for that can help. So a certain point, okay, this is another important thing. 
There's a certain <laughs> point where you stop looting. Um, and I yeah, think, I got really greedy here. Yes, when you have SMG here and you have this, that's when you stop. At that point, yeah. you just do brick. The reason is, mm -hmm. is because if you have a, as I word it the best, if you have a 9 out of 10 loto and you could spend 3 minutes to get a 10 out of 10 loto, is it worth it? It's not worth it. No, it's just too much time, right? And it's also yeah. in that timeline where people have done looting, right? So they're going to start roaming around and uh -huh. they're looking for people for some reason, you know, to fight order. They're dumb. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't do that, but that's what they would do. I just pull up here and do what you told me with the metal. Yeah. Then he runs away. Yeah. Still. But yeah, that was not worth it because my, my heels are fine. Yeah, you look at their state like before and Eight after. Chugs. It's, it's hilarious, yeah. Yeah. It's just gone. At some point, you have to be like, I'm good with my loot. Like, and I yeah. think uh, this is way too early. Definitely have to, it's, like, it's what I call the, did I mention exposure to you? Uh, no. Exposure, yeah. So exposure is like the, like the, remember I mentioned the highway? Maybe I mentioned it to you? I don't really remember. Mm -hmm. Um, Basically exposure is like, it's better to have something like a decent loadout and then just hide. So you don't get griefed. Yeah, yeah you're talking about like the gray pistol. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. And I think um, making sure that you're not exposed to the map is really good it's for like a longer period of time than you need to so like yeah when you have five yeah. days six flashes and you have two guns that would be sick. um and then you could you could like sit in a bush wait for uh cash or you could like farm 200 brick and then do the same thing right yeah slow in this upbeat so i think going to 500 brick is even which is scary this is good yeah just solid only thing i would change here slightly is uh the amount of metal you use you you get 200 metal from the cash that would not mm -hmm. drop under 300 that would change to like okay. brick or something it's not that big of a deal, but that's something you keep in mind. I don't think this is you actually. Yeah, and then my game starts getting really griefed here as I rotate. I remember this game. Yeah, this will be good actually. Let's go here. Like I burn everything. It's pretty bad. Cause I kept trying to like move and rotate, and I kept getting hit. Right here, I'm looking for a uh, key thing. Yep. Get the, uh, the floppers, maybe, for chugs. Yep. Yeah, the key thing you have to recognize is, like, there is no such thing as, like, free movement anymore. It's really hard. Yeah. In this stage of the game. So, like, waiting for zone to pull and things to change is, like, one of the best things you can do at this point. So, it's a very similar idea. Like, it's, like... Sometimes doing nothing is best, and uh, yeah. moving around to like in pursuit. Like I regret even doing it. I could have stayed in tilted and chilled. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah right I'm here, I just start game. Say, literally. Yeah. Uh, or or refarm a building, you know, to get your brick up. Um, and then I didn't even know where this guy was, so I kept getting hit by him. <laughs> I was like, yeah. It's like, where is this guy? This guy on the hill right here. I couldn't even see him. Wait, do you see a mistake with what just happened as well? Uh, they're not building, right? No. Uh, look at look at your heal. I think you should pop something else. I think. I think it's okay to do so. Slurp juice. Yeah, I think you should. Yeah. On the road. I mean, yeah. ideally we don't have to. It's worth. Yeah. You know, we, I think we definitely do. Yeah, 150 compared 150, to being 200 and yeah. healing. Yeah. And you save yep. a full opportunities. Yeah, definitely. That's one thing. Um, yeah, I mean, the approach here is just too much moving. Like, you look at the map, right? Yeah. Can't move anywhere. Not I was free. really tunnel visioning on like the, the, um, the key chest because there's a key on that, uh, little samurai yeah uh right here so i kept trying to yeah there yep. and then where that guy was yeah there's a key yeah, there Absolutely. i got really tunnel visions on that so i, I mean uh, to show you a graph right like i will draw the loot graph again right so let's say this is yeah. the graph this is loot right here whoops loot right here and then this is time right and then uh this is how most let's say this is max loot so like 555 five, five, and like pretty good loadout like really good loadout yeah right so how most people move and then they just play the game from here like this they sit in the bush and then they play the game from here so what happens is it's very snowball -y. Meaning, you moving a lot um, during the section where the guy was on top of this hill and you were down here. You remember? Yeah. Uh, you moving a lot caused it to drop. And now you're behind. Yeah. And now you feel like you need to go get more loot to fix it. So then you start yeah. going up and then you're like, oh, fuck. Because now you're moving around and like, you know, being exposed yeah. a lot longer. Now you have to fight you know, more mistakes. And then cash, right? Loot goes back up. And then we move from cash to go to the key box. But it's too late. Like, it's at that part of the game where people can yeah. get you. Now we're down. And it's going to infinitely zone, happen yeah. because you always need more loot because you're scuffed. But you mm -hmm. wanting to get more loot at this stage of the game is causing you to keep going back down. Yeah. It's very, it's paradoxical in that way. So that's why this early game like setup is like the most important thing. Because it's really mm -hmm. hard to fix in stock games if you mess this part up. Yeah. You understand? So 
So yeah, like that's why when you had five minis, six boxes, it's crazy. And it's like the most important thing. Fixing that is, I don't even know how to put it. It's like so important. Mm -hmm. Um, it, 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 it doesn't look or sound important because it's like, oh, it's like a small thing. No, it dictates your entire game. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. And I think those decisions make the pros between mm -hmm. like, you know, because there's a bunch of mechanical kids all, all over the place, that, that, but they still don't win. You know, yeah, uh, if there's like a stack solo invitational, they still don't get close. And the reason is because they don't have to in the game. That's what they, do. they don't know what to do in the moment. I think, uh, yeah, like getting it right from the beginning and then playing very, very safe from there. Like to not need more loot is like the complete ideal. This game is very hard. It look, it's looking very difficult. Yeah. This is the idea. The, the, the idea that like the density of the game has gone up, so refarming is not possible. It's just yeah. Not possible. See, I didn't even see. I thought he was in the bush. No, he's like, like, like a head glitch. Yeah. yeah. The only way you can refarm, by the way, and it's very unlikely, is if you go like full that side. But I, yeah, I don't or like edge. Like, yeah. It's just gonna cause you to get shot a shit ton. So. Mm -hmm. And you, and like you're sacrificing a central position that you had to go edge to like get like, a little bit more mats. Yeah. Like at this, okay, let's say you made the mistake, right? Let's say you, you yeah. the mistake was made, it's already done. At that point, mm -hmm. I would just uh, bite the bullet and just play with these mats. The reason yeah. is, is because you, you're not going to get higher. Like you are 90 right here. Look at your mats now, right? Yeah. The same thing. And it's really hard to refund because you have to build three to four wood wood builds per tree that you're farming. Which yeah. Is, uh, just canceled out, right? And so what's important is like just play with the mats that you have. Play with the six mm -hmm. minis, two slurps, and one flop. And then try to get an impact. Like we, you just have to accept that you'll need an impact yeah. somewhere in moving. And then just try mm -hmm. to survive from there. You know? like this will just, this will just, you know, he'll just tag you forever. Yeah, I'm just getting fucking eight alive. <laughs> yeah. And then I see th this is I got really tunnel vision on this, like an impact frag on this guy. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like so scuffed. I'm like, I gotta fight this guy probably, which I probably didn't. I don't think you can because of your yeah. little right, which hard. You need a you gonna fight him with a real beam it's gonna be way too difficult. Yeah. And then I tried to creep up on him. So I'm already so scuffed. I think you'll be surprised like what you can do with the mass that you have. I think you just need yeah. to do it. Like even now chill. Yeah. It's super surprising. Cause like um so there's two factors in terms of whether impact is good or not, okay? Mm -hmm. Number one, uh I believe it's your loot. So like how desperately you need it. So for example, let's say a yeah. pen builds here. Your desperation mm -hmm. to kill him will go will be much higher. You're like, you know, you want to yeah. kill him. It's like your last option. But it's not that desperate. It's it's pretty yeah. desperate, but it's not that desperate. Um, so that's one factor. The other factor is how easy is the kill? Yeah. Right? In this, ca this case, it's not that easy. So I agree you, yeah. need, you need the impact. But a lot of people uh, seem to forget the second point. This is not possible. Yeah. I don't see a world unless this guy is literally trolling just like Dog the guy off spawn. Yeah. yeah, it's just not possible. Because you don't have mm -hmm. an SMG, um, and you don't, you're, you're only gonna use metal and stuff. Like it's, it's just yeah. not worth it, I think. Like what my my I guess uh, view of how you're gonna get the impact is you need to find an SMG, right? Like something like is yeah. even a chest? I don't even know. But yeah, you need to go somewhere, get an SMG. Maybe you can go into these buildings, you know, SMG like mm -hmm. somewhere in here. Uh, so that's the first thing. So you have a swap weapon. And the next thing is like you survive until it gets to like, I don't know, three zones from now, maybe four zones from now. Yeah. Uh, and then you katana forward right after someone else katana next to you. Yeah. With the objective of landing on his head. So he <laughs> lands and he gets pumped like as soon, like seconds after he lands by you. Just get in. Yeah. You would need to land on his head while he's exposed. Um, mm -hmm. And that is like a potential impact that you can do, but stuff like that, because in that case, the, the kill is much easier. Mm -hmm. right? Whereas mid game fighting, that's the hardest type. Or if you have to categorize yeah. types of fights, mid game fighting is the hardest out of everything. Mm -hmm. Ospawn is easy because they lack mats. End game can be easy because you can jump on them. Even if they're 555, it's hard to react. And it's really, really like easy to land on someone's head if you know what you do. Yeah. Mid game is straight up grief, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Unless you beam someone for 150 and then go for it, that is just really, really hard. Yeah. At this stage, you may be able to refine. There's a lot of trees here and he left. But you should own this area and farm back up. It seems like this is the idea that you have, which is good. Yeah. You can literally get back to 500 wood and actually play the game. I don't know if it's bugged, but it says you have six minions. I'm not sure. If that's true or not. Oh, I think I do, yeah. Okay. Wait, no, no, I don't. It's it's up, but... Yeah, exactly. I think we play as a bug, so. So this is good. You're refarming a lot. Not bad. Yeah, I just took advantage of this is dead side. You just have to, yeah. 
really hard to. Uh... And then I went for the like, key thing here. Yep. SMG, I think. Yeah. I don't know why I shot this guy. It was so dumb. I regretted that as soon as I fucking did. I mean, I think it's okay. It's okay. okay. You get a really good beam. It's not that bad. I just had like a thing in mind, like getting the build. Yeah, the reason why it's okay, I think, is because uh, what do you call? It? Like you're on elevation. Like yeah. If, if he just stops, then like you're not in trouble. You know. Okay, I'm going to the next key thing here. The, the idea is like the the reason why things have changed is because now you have an SMG, right? The beam yeah. is really good in a fight. If you only have a shotgun, the likelihood of you fifty like mid game fighting someone is like really hard. Yeah. But now it's a lot better. Yeah, definitely not big. Or the bottles, I guess. Are there bottles down there? That's another big. Oh, I think I left them for the uh. Ah, uh, okay, okay. The, uh, flopper, yeah. This kid looks so shit. After this game, I'm gonna show you an ideal game. Like okay. an example. And it, it, we play around the same area too. But you'll see exactly what I mean. I tried landing on that kid like you said. Yep. For an impact. And then uh, the other guy bought. Yeah, so here's uh, rule number one. I, okay, you, I, I don't know if you could see it. It happened really quickly because I was on 4x, but I could tell what was <laughs> happening. Um, do you, actually, let me. I'll let you rewatch it. Let's do that one more time, and then I'm okay. gonna ask you a question, and let, uh, you right. can answer to your best of your ability. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get back to the right point. Is it even here? If it, yeah, it might be here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna lower the volume to you. Right there. Yeah. Okay, good. And, yeah, I'm assuming you have three katanas. It's fine. Yeah, so here's the thing. How do you prevent this? Uh, uh Like, when you land, you actually got to hold your walls and yeah. not try to yeah. right. do dumb shit. Yeah, that's right. Because that wasn't even built. It was like fucking 50 so, HP. <laughs> first thing is, uh, I agree about being concerned about the guy, you know? But if you never edit yeah. that wall, I think you'll be fine. Uh, also, mm -hmm. I think the landing spot is a little bit suboptimal, so I'll show you. I gotta find mm -hmm. you first. Uh, wait. uh, yeah. Yeah. So, the reason why landing spot is suboptimal is because I think you should do like another one, and go in deeper, for several yeah. reasons. Okay, this is gonna take a little bit of time. So, explain this whole thing. So, do you know how before in the previous zone, center zone, like center third, was guaranteed fourth, but it's yeah. very precise. Um, mm -hmm. maybe you didn't know this, but center second is also guaranteed third. Oh, really? Now yeah. it is? Okay. It was no, it was always like that. Okay. And the reason why it was like that is because the relationship of the circles to each other was such that the radius of the first circle was double the size of the radius of the next. Right? Mm -hmm. So what I mean by that is like, if I draw it in paint, this will make a lot more sense if I draw it in paint. Right? So this is the old meta. The old meta. This is relevant to the, uh, the what's happening right now. So if I draw a circle, let's say this is second, okay? Well, let's, yep. say, let's say for our example's sake, that this, people are way more comfortable with this one. Let's say this is third. Okay. Yep. And then let's draw a circle, which is half the size, which is the fourth zone, which is literally how it works because fourth zone radius was half the size of third. Right. Yeah. This is a little bit big. Let's be like that. So half the size. You agree? Do you see how like I went to an extreme, like I'm on the edge. And oh, it, it, and it still has to fit in the yeah, middle. It encompasses the center and it's always yeah. the case. Right. Now imagine. Right, like this is true for second, second into third, and third into fourth. Now imagine okay. if the zone's like this, which is exactly how it works. Oh, this is way too big. <laughs> like this. This is mm -hmm. how it is. So now yeah. imagine what it's looked like. Yeah. It's way more uh, forgiving. Even more area. Now yeah. the thing is, basically, you don't want to be somewhere in the edges. You don't want to be in here. Why? Because yeah. not that you don't have any chance of pulling, but it's not guaranteed. But if you enter yeah. in this like nice spot where like you know you could be in the center somewhere like it's like a mm -hmm. circle almost like there's like a sweet spot here before yeah. it was a dot because it was so precise because half the radius mm -hmm. was a relationship now it's like 80 percent is the next radius yeah. you know instead of 50 and so there's like a circle of sweet spot in the middle um yeah and i think being in that circle would be good and so here your your position is suboptimal for several reasons number one you have a pinch angle meaning you've landed here you can get shot from the left as well and the mm -hmm. right. Whenever you can sh get shot from two opposite directions in this zone and you come in late, uh, that's when it gets scary. 
That's why you yeah, felt pressure to even get. do this, maybe. Like, yeah. you know, you don't want to get shot by him and him. Then you're just genuinely dead. Right? Yeah. That's what one thing. You also have an extra katana charge. What if you just went in and landed Deep, here? Yeah. Now you guarantee next zone. Yeah. No? You know what I mean? It'd be perfect. And so that's what I... I did uh, all that just for an edge that I may not even pull. Yes. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Now you may pull it, but it doesn't disprove my point because it's not guaranteed. Yeah. Right. So, like with one extra katana here, which you have the ability to do, you can get rid yeah. of the pinch issue and get and gain an advantage of and be hundred hundred. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. So, like the positioning of the boxes is like very very precise. And mm -hmm. I want you to appreciate all the things I've told you so far have nothing to do with right hand peaks, has nothing to do with aim, has yep. nothing to do with mechanics. It's everything to do with your decisions, and it's like brain. Yeah, it's yeah. it's literally just your brain, right? And so. Uh, most of this, by the way, I will be completely clear, comes from experience, which is why mm -hmm. I often prescribe scrims because scrims is experience. It's not yeah. perfect one to one experience. Tournaments is perfect one to one experience, but scrims is the best option we have. So yeah. that's that's why you just play them, even if they have mm -hmm. zone roll, right? So that's why I think um, uh, obviously if you had a if you had a choice and you didn't have zone roll, you would choose that instead. But if you have if you only have zone roll, you just need to play them anyways. That's like yeah. the biggest prescription that I give in order to gain the experience. Like the reason why I know these things because i played the game for three years like yeah literally only reason like i'm sure you know critically thinking and making sure that you, you think about things that can accelerate your learning and, and your ability to grasp these concepts but mm -hmm. um sometimes it's a, it's a lot it's very largely correlated with your time invested into uh, yeah. sim and tournament but yeah the so surge is good here i don't think surge will happen anymore after this we'll have to see maybe it will if it's six it's totally sick honestly but yeah, it's these small things that I think would help a lot. No need. This one, yeah. Mm -hmm. The like again, it's it the same thing. Burn. I know number one is very high. Your desperation for getting a kill, I know it. Yeah. Right. It's, it looks crazy, but number two is not good. Full built mm -hmm. metal wall. This is never gonna work. This is gonna go. This yeah. is gonna cause you to get grief. The only way this works is if this guy literally left his chair. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you should you should view both. And sometimes number two is so easy that you could be five 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 and you can go for it. It has to be really yeah. easy though. So that's why when you, when you watch pros, because they're good at judging, um, you watch pros and sometimes they'll go for kills even though they're max mat. And the reason why yeah. I tell people not to copy that is because I don't trust their judgment. And so yeah. um, the issue is when pros do that, everyone's like, oh, look, they get kills in endgame. No, bro. They have really good perception and they truly yeah. know their limits and they know what's really free and that will mm -hmm. never get them killed. Um, so like, that's why I think sometimes they misjudge it, which is why I still, you know, try to prescribe the idea of like, if you need a kill, you should go for it. And, if, yeah. you know, because... I think that's like the best way to do it. Um, but you know, if you're really confident that you can judge what's good and what's bad, then you should do it. But I think for 99% of people, they don't know what what kill is good and bad, and so that's why you yeah. shouldn't even trust your own judgment until it gets better. Okay, yeah, zone pulls. The only like reason to go for this, I mean, even this. I, I know you need surge, but even this is not. Yeah. Good. What you would consider doing is triple katana into zone, get in early. So that everyone mm. coming in later could get some dude by you. That's your surge. Yeah. The only issue is you only have wood. Like it's pretty fucked. It's so that's why like, look, the Fortnite is very, very like the 26 minutes that you play, very yeah. connected. Meaning the yeah. decisions you make here ruin the decisions you make here. It connects to this. It connects to this, yeah. and then you fuck here because of things that you did here. Yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. So like, this game is very, very difficult to play. Not because of anything you did wrong in the, five, the last five minutes. It's everything in the game. That, that right game here, I was game. thinking like, what if someone doesn't have a katana and then... Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, I understand your desperation. And like, when, yeah. you, when you katana in with wood, you're probably dead. Um, mm -hmm. And if anything, I would have chosen to go in earlier. If yeah. you're going to do this. And I think that would probably be your play. You go in earlier, you make two to three boxes. And you need to like, snug yourself away in wood. It's going to be really hard to play. I'm not going to lie. You don't have mm -hmm. hearts. So you're probably going to get yeah. focused. Which is Lobby, why, yeah, yeah, I mean... To be honest, even as a coach watching this, it's very difficult to be like, what can you do here? Very difficult. Yeah. Because you need to fix this. Yeah. Right. So now let's look at an example. Actually, I mean, do I even bother? No, I don't even think we should worry about it. So what I was going to do is like, I can tell you like how to play this like better. But like, I think the yeah. best solution, honestly, is to avoid this at all costs. Yeah. But so don't even worry about this. It's just going to overload your brain. Let's focus on what you should do instead. Let's pull up a replay on something that you should do instead. So the game's not too, too important. It's very similar. You just land, make sure you have a katana and then you just go yep. get a bunch of loot. Uh, so that's not the important part, but I want you to know, because this is what you did too. You, you, you got your first kill and then you just load it. Yeah, you know, just load yeah. it up, right? So that's not the hard, uh, crazy thing. Yeah, he has a katana already because we land on it and then, you know, you just play the game up. Get a bunch of loot. And this part is not too dissimilar to yours. 
watching. Here's the ideal loadout for red eye. Working on his metal. Okay, so here's the thing. Don't shoot greens is very similar. Yeah. The guy in the hill. Mm -hmm. he, we know he's right here. Right? We know. Yeah. And so I'm telling him, because I'm a lot of at this point, don't yeah. move. You need to wait until yeah. he's gone. Because the issue, like, we tagged him and then we blocked. So now he's going to look mm -hmm. back at us for counter shots. So we're just farming behind our wood, making sure that now I think we see evidence of him leaving, because that's him up there. Yeah. And so now we move. Focus on the metal. Don't don't get caught up with like crazy stuff. Just get surge if you need it. Otherwise, just yeah. focus on getting your loot right up as much yep. as possible. Do not lose momentum on this. Because the, mm -hmm. the longer you wait, if it look if your line looks like this, then it's too late. You're yeah. not gonna be able to get this loot because it's it's gotten to the point where it's too dense now. Everyone has boxes mm -hmm. around you, and then you can't move anymore. So it's a race. Like you you need to make sure that you don't get griefed in the race by fighting people or getting shot. Um, you can. I'm shooting you literally reduces your loot because you can use heals. Uh, and you're trying to get to that max loot position as fast as you can so that you can go sit in a bush or a box or whatever. Yeah. We're just working on wood brick now because he's five in the metal. So here's okay, so here's an interesting concept that I can teach you about. This will be really cool. So you know how in the cache, right? It spawns zone three. This is which zone, apparently. Mm -hmm. Do you know which zone this is? Two. Right, so this is zone two. And zo yep. the cache spawns on zone three. And so if you look yep. at the map, I right, go to the map right here. The zone usually pulls in the same direction that it pulls previously, right? So if it pulls mm -hmm. top left like this, next zone you can expect to pull like this. There's a yeah. very, very, like, um, how do I say, complicated reason for why that is, but just know that, right? Yeah. You don't need to know the reason, just know that it exists, right? Mm -hmm. The next zone is likely, not, not guaranteed, but likely to pull somewhere in the top left corner, right? Yeah. And so if you know this, and you know dragon only takes you somewhere like this, then going yeah. and waiting for dragon as a usual plan is not a good idea, right? Yeah. In this case, this is how I view it. You know the guy we just saw earlier with the search? Yeah. He just moved north, right? We just saw him. And so and yeah. then after that, we haven't heard any gunshots, which means he didn't run into anyone. Which means, yeah. he, think of him as like a vacuum. He just cleaned yeah. this area for us. We know mm -hmm. there's no one there. And so that's why I told him, like, instead of waiting in a bush, because we have so much time, because we did we did everything so quickly, let's yeah. just start moving. We know next one's going to pull like this. Let's just start going. Because mm -hmm. waiting for yeah. Dragon is probably not too good. That's my uh, explanation for that. And so that's why we started like getting wooden brick. Of course, we're still working on our loot, but we're also getting objective number three done, which is let's move forward. Right? Yeah. Because that guy, we didn't hear any shots. I think he made it through safely. He's our guinea pig, mm -hmm. if you will. He just ran the the, the yeah. race, you know? and then now we know it's completely clear. So we just keep going. Put up the loading. Yep. Keep going. Keep farming wood. Keep moving forward. Very simple. Do not do anything to get grieved. Always shoot bushes. Yeah. Now I told him like sit in here for a second. Why? The because there's only shit. 10 seconds left. Let's just gather the information. Eight seconds of running is not going to change too much. Well, might yeah. as well just wait until it shows and then go. So we just sit in the bush. It shows. Pretty cool. Like you see now that the viability of dragon to like if it pulls like here the the, the cash very useless, hard, yeah. very very hard. It's like 900 meters. Yeah. So that's why I told him like just might as well move forward. Okay, cash shows. Pretty far, I think. I don't remember. I don't see the cash. I see it on the on the screen. It's up here. Right, but I don't see it on the map. I think it's bugged in replace. Moving forward. Yeah, the two, yeah, the three charge katana. So, uh, if you have a katana and you want to move faster, just yeah. keep putting it on cooldown, but never use all of them. So that mm -hmm. if you get into an emergency, you still have charges, but you're yeah. still putting it, you're using it at max efficiency. It's always on cooldown. You just do it very slowly. And cash. You should use metal here, not brick. You see the mistake? Yeah. Very bad. Uh, this is so a bug that happens with replay. Yeah, you can't get brick back. And brick is honestly way, way harder to farm than... Yeah. Metal. But you should do this, yes. <clears throat> Waits until 300, like 300 is ideal, so yeah. Yeah. And now you wait. Only issue with this is that, uh, what do you call it, your edge? But like he had six slot bottles. Like that's a pretty good yeah. upgrade to go to slurp. So I thought it was worth it. Not bad. Yeah. 
Okay, now let's watch. So you, you agree at this point, it's very similar to your game where it's gotten to the point where you can't move easily anymore. Yeah, this 100%. Is the stage, right? Earlier, you could. You could move like this, but now it's it's like it's, it's messed up. So in this case, you should wait until the next zone shows because that will cause oh. these people to move. But right now, they don't, they're not going to move. Why? Because they're in. And why, why won't this guy move? He can't move. Why won't this guy move? Because he can't guy. move, right? Yep. It's stuck. It's roadblocked. There's a traffic jam. You should just wait, right? Mm -hmm. And then when next zone shows, the guy at the very front who's holding everyone, which in this case will probably be not that guy, but this guy, he's going to mm -hmm. move, right? Because he has to. He's going to want to get in. He's not in. And then once he moves, then he can move. And then once he moves, mm -hmm. then you can move, right? So the ideal, uh, ideal spot, like he has a much better position uh, than all of us because yeah. his, his decision to move is not dependent on anyone else. Or at least yeah. it's dependent on way less people. If you're in the back mm -hmm. of the line, and this guy griefs everyone by going 30 seconds late. He griefs you by going 30 seconds late. Yeah. Because right? you have to wait the extra 30 seconds. And then this guy might take the extra. So it's like, you don't want to depend on people on your rotate. It's really, really um, bad position. In this case, we <laughs> happen to because of the cash. But we can deal with it. You can you can see how we deal with it. So watch. In this case, all I told him, right? I'm like, just watch this guy. Why? Because he's yeah. who we're depending on. And but the thing is, we don't see him. We don't see him at all during our gameplay. But we know that he may not be moving because someone in front of him. And so when he yeah. decides to move, it probably means the guy in front of him has also moved. Mm -hmm. Because that's why he's moving, right? It's not guaranteed, but you can infer these things. And then when you see him moving, that's the exact timing that you need to go. It's, it's just like waiting in line. You just can't, you know, yeah. go in front of people. That's all. Uh, just watching him. It's bugged in replays. You can't look through. But yeah, you're just watching that. Yeah. He moves and then look. Like literally, look how quick we move. <laughs> yeah, as soon as he goes, yeah. Right? That's a uh, crucial thing. Um, I think we decided to go around this this way because I was very scared. I I tried to like think about this, right? I don't know what this looks like because we were yeah. all the way back there. I, I'm, I have the privilege in replay of going to John Free, but I predicted that people would be on top of these buildings. Like you know, there the is this is true over here, metal, yeah. but it doesn't you know happen to be no one here. The issue is mm -hmm. if there are people here, that this rotates really hard to get through. There's like yeah. a river, and it's like a literal castle in like the medieval times, like an actual moat. Right, like, yeah. how are you supposed to get across, you know? That's why I told him, like, go wider. This is probably not going to get held as much. Yeah, that's really dead, yeah. Yeah. So, is it good? Sit in the bush, pause for a second, get your bearings. Mm -hmm. The only issue I think that he made is that uh, I don't think we shot the bush. So if someone's in there, we're dead. Yeah. And it's very similar to, like, the Russian... I'd say there's a 2% chance to have someone mm -hmm. be in the bush. Doesn't, doesn't mean you shouldn't check every single one, right? Yeah. Because the punishment is huge. You literally lose the game. Here? Why do we pause? Take a look. Uh, we, came, we came from here. We came from the right. Why do we pause? Oh, um, uh, we're waiting for this guy to go. Yeah, we can't move anymore. Yeah. Right, how? If I go past him, let's say I want to go here. Right? I, I, of course I would want to go here. I, I, I agree that this position is better, but can we? No. Uh -huh. I don't think we can force it. I think we're going to lose take a lot of HP. So don't force anything. Right? It should not be forced. It should be, hey, I'm gonna wait until things ha things progress. And like you move, like you know, it's not it's not like you won't. It's just we need to wait for zone. Mm -hmm. We're getting a bunch of surge because we we understand and respect the idea that this could stick, and it has been by yeah. the way. This has been the number for like the past two zones, I believe. Uh, so we, we're very scared of surge even now. Wait, just tag people. It's fine. Uh, the point of this video, this this replay, is to show you an ideal mid game. If he has some yeah. problems in his end game, although I think he played it 90% correct, the problems in his end game is I can even show you that just to learn more. He said, "Look, this guy went. Yeah, he's gone. Right, and we could even if you're not sure if someone's in there, shoot the wall. Shoot the wall, yeah. And then you know. But in this in this instance, we don't notice. So that's our like slight mistake there. It's like we don't yeah. notice when he left. We could have left a lot earlier. And then you can get to the spot you want. Yeah. Base on the Brock. Uh, rocks are really messed up right now, so don't base on them. We break. Yeah. Like, look how efficient we're being. We're trying to be as efficient as possible. Everything correct, right? Good mats. Yeah, that's exactly it. right. Now look. We're edge. Mm -hmm. Should you move or no? Uh, I mean, I'll wait for zone. <clears throat> you think so? so? Yeah. It looks pretty for you right now. If you had to predict, how is this area going to look like in a minute? bunch of fucking people over yes. you yes yeah and then that's gonna cause for your next rotate a really hard position because then four people from behind you can shoot yeah but this sucks that's why i think you should commit to a rotate now when you have a katana and uh, no one's really holding you this guy's the threat and that's it but if i aim for the yeah. hill and then go up and land somewhere here i think it's fine that's why i think you should move now because things are gonna get way worse and then trying to move down is very scary 
it's very uh related to that concept that i just talked about like the 80 percent zone just go somewhere yeah. center and you'll probably pull so if he goes like here it's a lot better than being edge a lot yeah. better um it's not a guaranteed pull but your your chances go from like you know very minuscule to like 10 to 20 to 30 percent it, it goes up by a lot very exponential your chances when you go more center yeah look at all the people coming behind him yes. holy shit I, i'm screaming in the call i'm like look we need to leave we need to go yeah i'm like we, we, this is very scary i'm actually worried, worried. No, we need to get out we leave and then if we just like, i'm sure it doesn't get crazy stuck but it, it's the, it's the yeah but even those guys like yeah left look yeah, two. left right yep. and uh it's gonna cause problems like this is a very bad position compared to up here not only for surge reasons, but also your rotate reasons. Like, it's really hard to rotate from down there, even if you have a katana. You should solve the problems that before they even happen. And his mats are still good, that's crazy. Mats are amazing, yeah. <laughs> because, like, you have to understand, refarming is a blessing. You, it's really hard to yeah. refarm. So, even now, we can't just, like, go in the castle and start refarming. Why? Because there's yeah. so many people in here that we don't know about, so I'm not going to risk it. We're missing 400 brick, by the way. Why not refarm, right? I'm just too scared. It's not a good idea. Um, so what's really important is, like, don't try to force the refarming. It's not as free as you think, and just commit. Like because we played the rest of the game correctly, we get blessed with 114. And if we look at everyone else, I'm sure they are wait, missing a lot more mats. This guy has a good amount. That's 70. This guy's like pretty fucked. You know, people have some good amount of mats. People yeah. Playing, and then this guy's messed up. You know, like what does he do? Like it, it's over. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really hard. That's why your early zones have to be played really correctly. And if they are, then you're gonna have a really good time. And if they're not, then you're not gonna have a good time. It's gonna be really difficult. Yeah. Right. But I think that's what's uh, super important about the early mid game uh, to make sure that you play it well. Because in stacked solo games, especially solo games, it's really hard to get impact on command. In duos, it's a lot yeah. easier um, because 2v2, but in solo, just, you can't just like, oh, I want an impact and get it. It's really hard. Yeah. You have to be exceptionally good at box fighting, and I think at a pro level, you could do that, but not not until you get there. Okay, so this is fine. There's chilling. Makes another box if people are threatening to spray the bottoms. Um, I think this is not a huge deal. So it's not that important. Yeah, zone is yeah that number barely moved the player. Yeah, player yep. number. yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a good observation mm -hmm. by you. Yeah, stuff you should be looking at to make sure you're not below search. Just going. And some shows. Okay. Do a little trivia. Where should you base when you katana forward? You have three katanas. Mm, probably as high up as possible. Up here? Yeah. I'll issue with that. up here and base okay let's uh mention this <clears throat> let's say enemy box right here you basically yeah. right here is really awkward i think i don't think it's as good because if you start getting sprayed by someone he can spray your floor and i'll spray your bottom yeah. yes so my thought process is you want the benefits of elevation agreed you do want them it's not, probably it's a little not bit lower want. yes where like where that uh waterfall is i'd say okay right not bad yeah a little bit near there yeah. i think the idea of the layer is correct you don't mm -hmm. necessarily have to be here my thought process yeah. was just go on the wood ramps yeah or here or here or yeah or here all of these are acceptable why because these layers give you the benefit of elevation so your next rotate is really easy but they're not really easy to get briefed by someone else because you're not on yeah. their layers this is the congested layer you see it literally on your screen and then this is no one to play on these ones because these mm -hmm. still give you the benefit of elevation but you're not on the layers and being above people is sometimes scary too because yeah. they can just spray your floor like if let's say you're boxed right here this guy sprays your floor and this guy sprays your floor and then it just gets griefed it's really awkward but I would not give them the ability to do that. And sometimes in solos, don't ask me why. I don't know why people do this, but they'll literally edit you out and grief them. Yeah. They don't know any better. Edit all their walls. The idea yeah. is don't give them the option to do anything. But don't base on mm -hmm. top of them like that. If you are going to base on top of them, do what Vino does. Like Vino did, used to do this a lot in duos. is to not create the one layer gap. So don't be one layer. But after you land yeah. here, place a floor, a ramp, and a wall, and then go up one more. And then yeah. base one more up. So create a two layer gap. In that case, you won't even recognize that you're there. It's like yeah. it's really hard to see you. He messes up a little bit with the katana. I think the, yeah. the, the key thing is uh, the, 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 they should be more vertical. If you don't want to go as, as deep in the X, X and Y, yeah. you should be up so your X and Y is shorter. Okay. Yeah, he's doing, he's doing. His surge is good because he's been working on it the entire game. Yeah. Right? Imagine like he's like complacent, doesn't hold red eye or whatever. No, that's been really hard. The game, would just, even though he played like like pretty much really well up until this point, if he doesn't have a red eye and doesn't get surged throughout the entire game, he he would, the whole game would look different. Yeah. From this point on, it's like that one slight mistake and then boom, like you might you might be it might be over. Who knows if this will hit? But you know, we always got to be careful. So close, he's observing. You don't need anything. And you yeah. don't really see the number two, like the the ease of the kill. You don't see anything like that right now. 
Yeah, yeah. I agree. Um, an impact would be sick. You can see one right now. Katana. Katana straight up. Elevation is very important when you when you do katanas. Yeah. <clears throat> so, the reason why is because you want to predict your next rotate. Let's say you base someone like here. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get it's out. so hard. You can get buried. Yeah. You can get surrounded by builds. And then it's like, okay, good luck getting out. Really hard. Whereas if you're up here, like now it's a little bit okay to like base in the positions that I mentioned because they're probably not going to spray in moving zone. They don't have as much fun. Yeah. All right, so you just chill. First moving is going to be usually inactive. You can still look for the kills, but don't force anything that doesn't look pretty. Make some pulls. Time forward. Time is up. Straight up. Now watch yep. this. Okay, cool. I landed in someone's box. Um, now imagine this was by accident. But imagine yeah. you did this on purpose. Meaning yeah, like you see you someone landing and you go for it. Because I believe that Fernandin has a big advantage here. This guy has to turn around. Yeah. He hits him and this is really good. So he managed to hug him because he sees that he gets first shot. And so his yeah. movement matches him because he knows he's mm -hmm. going to win because he got the first shot. And this guy still has blueprints out. Like you win in every single scenario. And dead. Right? The yep. one thing he needs to do, this is so niche. And we talked about this after. Yes. Build what? Build a cone. Where? Oh, on, on the top and then put a wall behind him. Cone here. Yeah. What What about there's some other thing that maybe it's, this is not easy to understand. Oh, why? a ramp. A floor here. Why? Oh, in case he falls down the loot. Yes. Look Look at the mats, yeah. I believe. I believe the mats are just gone. Oh. Oh. And do the flopper. Do you see how something oh. as niche and small as this has created, <laughs> like, literally the world's biggest impact on how the game could have looked? Yeah, he got nothing out of that. Yes. And so, <laughs> it sounds like, oh, like, that's cringe. You shouldn't worry about, like, the small thing. No, dude. This changed the game. Yeah. Let's. I'm curious, okay? Let's go back. 10 wood. I don't think it'll be that many mats, to be fair, because this guy's building mm. in wood, but who knows? Like, it, regardless, let's say he has 400 wood. It's still a lot to get siphon, yeah. and, you know, it's still significant. So I think, and sometimes, what if he has slurps and they fall? You know? Yeah. That's why your ink sink should be placed at next floor, and then finish the box, like you said. Mm -hmm. And it can be seen as hindsight? I don't think so. I think this is genuinely what everyone should do. I've seen so, way too many examples of it now. He's like, catch the loot. Catching the loot is first, first and foremost. Yeah. Um, the splashes, he catches that, but literally everything else is gone. The flop could have been useful, useful as well. The katana, you can if it's a three katana, you can swap it out and you get full charge. Yeah. Yeah, I was so I was like I was like, dude, there's no match. Everything fell. So Drop your yeah. mage because white heels are way more um yep. uh, significant here. But this is where the mistakes are coming up. Like so far, he played super well. Mistakes are coming yeah. up. Yeah. And the reason why we can't drop for the mats, even though we would love to, is because we just don't know what happened to them. There are so many yeah. people under us, we just have to assume it's gone. Don't even worry about that. Go out this way? Why do you add it this way? You know? Uh, because it's less congested. Yeah. Yep. I would rather up, tank up. two ticks of storm than get hit by someone. Yeah. Now, in some cases, you can get away with, you know, going forward, because you see that it's mm -hmm. safe. Those cases, you can avoid the tick. Here's the, I think this layer is not so bad, but I think boxing up here would have been a little bit yeah, better. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, there's several reasons. Number one, if it pulls up this hill, you, you got it, you're elevated already. And if it pulls up that hill, you're elevated already. So if this is the entire flat land, you could be, you know, the position that he's in is a little bit more acceptable. But if it pulls up these hills, you're pretty screwed. Right? Yeah. So that, you need to you need to think ahead and be like, okay, what if it pulls up these hills? And the likelihood is pretty high. It's pretty high. There's yeah. way too many mountains around us. But being extremely high, like legit second height, should be a thing that you do. And the reason why second height is safer indirectly in this season is because <clears throat> height is way more focused on katanaing players and people airborne rather than second height. So he doesn't even have time mm -hmm. to look for you. Yeah. You can literally base on wood. It's second height. You'll be fine. Here, he turns away from the weak wall. I don't like this. Yeah. You should just pick axe and replace it. It'll be 140 HP. Or just stare at it and hold it. Your choice. Doesn't really matter. This is horrible. Yeah, game's over. Yeah. This is GG. Really hard to play now. As soon as he gave that up, he... Yeah, like, that's what we talked about. It's like, once you give up those layers, like, these guys are in really good position, right? Yeah. But once you give up those layers, like, it's really hard to play. Why? Because the thing, the thing that happens when people start to run out of mouths is the higher layers get to drop down and pounce on the people underneath them. Yeah. It's like, it's really hard to see what, like, what's happening above you. And so, it's really hard to be aware of these sort of people. They have the, the element of surprise on everyone else when they want to slowly drop down layers to catch people. Mm -hmm. So, like, for example, let's say this guy runs out, like, builds wood and runs out. He could see it out of his floor and just jump on him. 
Mm -hmm. so, like this guy's the hunter, he's the victim, right? So like that's how you need to. Yeah. Think. Once he like, went as soon down as they the burn their mats, like he goes down drop. to second layer, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Once you burn your mats, like there's no more tarping as much, right? A lot of people running mm -hmm. on old builds, and so um, this guy like Fernand just doesn't have a chance here. I think it's really hard. He has a chance, but it drops significantly. I would say it doesn't mean you give up, doesn't mean you stop trying, but I think it, it just went down a lot. Okay, here. He should, I think, replace this. Okay, that's not that's not too bad. Um. I actually think... Actually, it's really hard to say. I think what he did is okay. I'm curious if there's a way to get this kill. Very, very curious. It's not obvious to me. I don't think he should jump in because the guy was looking straight at him. I don't know why yeah. he did it. And also, Fernand should just make a different edit. Which edit should he make? Uh... I probably would have put a wall. Wall is good. Yeah, good. Yeah. Definitely before you edit. You... I would have I would have coned that. Yes, yes, that's true. Yeah, or stair. Area. Stair would probably be better. Yeah. Reason is sometimes when you cone below you, they get pokeballed underneath it. And yeah. Problems. So stair and then edit something like this would be perfect. Um, but yeah. your floor edit. What, how should your floor edit be? Should it be like let's say you didn't do it that way wide. and you replaced. Yeah, it shouldn't be wide. It should be this yeah. is the opening. And then mm -hmm. you stand here and then you right hand peek it. Probably best. Because if you truly peace control everything, then he has really it's hard for him to run away. He does the yeah. good thing and runs this way. If he runs any other mm -hmm. direction, I think he literally dies. So that's really insane by him to like you know do that wow that yeah. that was open <laughs> yeah. yeah and uh now fernand doesn't get the kill but it's not that crazy i think the biggest thing is that layer i'm not even kidding i think yeah. that layer is way more important than the match themselves it's so crazy yeah because once you drop it's really hard to get back up he can fix it right now let's see if he does Should go. the issue is uh yeah it's nothing to connect to so when you do your second katana, don't just look look straight up like think like you should see this in your look, peripheral yeah and go in the at an angle so you can land on it that's yeah, that kid, yeah. You know I mean? Now he's dropping further and he doesn't catch himself. So how do you catch yourself? Uh, yeah, I, right? I would have went for that height play. Uh, mats I had. <clears throat> what do you mean? Like, up like here? when if I saw that when I katana up yep. on height, them fighting like that. Yes. I would have honestly sat on that and went for that. You could like try it, yeah. Kid. It's not a bad yeah. idea. You literally don't see anyone. Because yeah. if mm -hmm. you drop with 20 mats, there's not really impact to be made, I feel like, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. it depends. I think... I think going for heights not a horrible idea. It's not. It's not the worst. Yeah. Um, I think the biggest thing that he needs is to like the general idea. You just need to be higher up. And how yeah. do you catch yourself here? You literally look down and just hold, spam cone. It'll put mm -hmm. you on the next available slot. Mm -hmm. Cone is better than floor because uh, it, it'll have higher reach. But floor can work too. It's not a huge deal. Um. But yeah, you just need to look straight down where you're landing and just spam a floor. Or, um, yeah. It'll connect you. Here you should edit out the right. Yep. And because he's on that low layer, it's hard to get up. It's hard to get up. Yeah. He manages it, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it just won't be possible. I mean, honestly, he should be even higher up. I think, if possible. But the thing is, in this case, it's very hard to. And I think literally the next chance he gets, you should just go for the kill. Yeah. But it's really hard. It's too, it's too small match. He hasn't looked for a really solid opportunity because of all that time spent on the lower layers. Mm -hmm. he, he went for that one kill on the guy below him. But that guy's like, I don't know. It's not as good of a layer, I think. Like, it's just going to cut bomb. This is not bad. Look what happens to him. It's exactly what I want him to do to other people. Yeah, he gets fucking swanton. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Perfect word for it. Literally. Like, that layering <laughs> is exactly what's going to cause that. And I think you, you're going to be able There's to. There's no that audio on that either. Yep. That guy just is midair. He shoots you midair. There's no then landing, just... no footsteps, right? Now it's on you. <laughs> now it's on you. Yeah. Also, this is a situation where I think you'll agree with me. Um, when he's in that cone, he has 13 wood builds. He should just commit to a slurp. He should just pre-pop a slurp. Yeah. Why? Because I think he knows there's a fight coming in the next 10 seconds. Yeah. Because you don't have the mats to support uh, anything longer, you know? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so he should just pre-pop a slurp, I think. And that's yeah, I would have done the... this since I boxed right here. Yeah, wherever that cone was, or even here, it would be fine. Just yeah. pre-pop it. And that'll help you in the fight. Because then you're like, you like have 250 HP instead of 200. Because while you're fighting the guy, you're regening. Um, but yeah. yeah. Uh, any questions about any of this? Uh, no, yeah, no, I get the layer shit, yeah. What about mid game? That pretty well. Is mid game? Uh, yeah, no, I yeah, mid game is clear. Cause that is yeah. the biggest low hanging fruit of improvement for you. If you fix that, mm -hmm. the the difference that you'll see in the games is night and day. It's yeah. crazy. Um, and if I had to predict, like we only watch game one, but if I had to predict game two, it might look similar. I have no idea. But yeah. we can check it out. But I believe mm -hmm. if you fix this, and I encourage you if, on your own time, like go watch this again. Go watch his game two. Yeah. Game two is also 100%. really good. And just learn from it, and and you'll you'll be so solid at your mid game because it's really yeah. easy once you see how it's done. Yeah, yeah. I, I, mid game is one of the things that's visual. It's really hard to give you a template or a step by step plan 
because it's so contextual and it's not easy to be like oh go dead side go here go here it really yeah. depends on what you need and it's very that's what i've always intuitive. struggled with yep yeah my my mid like my early game is i've never to like die off spawn mm -hmm. like yeah yeah and i think once you, your end game itself will improve because you're going to be set up yeah. in a better way because of your mid game um so yeah. i'm glad i was able to show you visually and i hope that helped a yeah. lot um and you know we could take a, uh, take a look at uh, other parts of your game now